Salmonan lina mengo zika malamu kuki na gashando na mshanje gui teli tetas kuluma gezi fo ezinga chwe legi le and sfuna nje just to zoom in and find out exactly what lezi fo zimka nje na na gui ifisa sikpete wenzan utata na utlanse na angenga bang nje istrag whereby even some doctors benga gua zugu tiba zbone and abanya matiba zbeki ne beti baso bonak bantu besinto o abanya beki ne benga gua zi na na gui ngempela si misa ganja ni esmenes jenga leza all apa na mshanje gui teli nso Sina bantu baso bego na baso bego baso bego tazali kuti ba chola ganja ni egui echa ba inga gana enba tile ganja na lezi fa es ba pete es nga stwaile no kon nikolet. Era o dia mais importante na Nicoleta o agamas que ele mandou para o Bosch para Christmas para o ano. Então, quando a mamãe chega, ele disse que foi tudo o agamas lá. As que nós já disse, as motona, who was taking almost 14 tablets three times a day, sometime in my life. I actually have this topic for me is very close to my heart, Kini. Otherwise, Ekaya, give us a call. It's 0113391315 or sending a letter to Nicolas to the welcome to the hotel. As Kalen Oshangotin la kuni kolet si zuto abant abasha ba tini about this disease kuli mangao. Arato mega wenye aus urubata kura na giving disease a one a wit a bang. Urubana a hi no a ga itaba. Itaba kapila kaiyole. Kuponza rile na ikba. Dume na nabi sulaga tu kosi. Sike itaba ingi tu kiri. Yo tu kiri ga itaba because na mega twenty katemu lwa kana na leon. Then hana leon na kuru molo tu na na li kau otabui. Then how much can I spray you more? I'll tell you to go. To go, to go, to go, to go, to go, to go. Okay. This is what this is what the car meets up there. Eh, eh. How this is what sometimes how hospital man up hospital clock. Eh. But by ah, catch you lot. Ah, amputate. Hmm. Since ah, han ah han. So on the information here, you're not speaking record. Motu ito la biang. Do you have any information, Kayon? I don't know. I can't wait to learn more. Family, I can't wait to learn more. Okay. And why it's hard? It's hard. 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 Because you've experienced it. All right. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the level of the truth. We're talking about the truth. We're talking about the truth. We're talking about the truth. Sometimes you've got those symptoms. When you're diagnosed, you're talking about the truth. But if you're talking about the symptoms, you're talking about the truth. So we are on my side. I have Utum Sani next to me. I want to find out from Utum Sani. It's on a safe place safe for Ati. We are Saba and Nimplenia Koyonke. Agafisu goes born and Pella. See, son, the Lenin and I. Tum Sani. Baba, and the Lenin Jabba Bueli, Emakaya, and Utum Sani. Is he for Nisawa Kulu, he diabetes, Ushuela, Nisabiswa in Nisabiswa Uti, a Gunamuntu and Mazi, Engang and Bona, Truti, Bamkala, Onyawe, and Slokes, and you and Jalo and Jalo Bimkat, and then Sang and Lelang Apa and Awa left to Akina. Conabes are the very same because immediately being in Akas, it's like he baked in Lena Conafuti. Bamkata, bamkata, bamkata. Up until Temakfiala, what na ashoni le ngoba siyas guti ushwe la isi for esngi la pig. Yeah, yeah. So yino enza guti ngelilang unganz tholi ngelilang amzampe uba uta ngoz guti ushwe. Mm, ita nyaya nyaya zemsoni shwa ni mwenye uskari stile mina angsabi ya ukusondela na no doctor ukanya umtola mpiro nyaya ngambe niti ingalanji bage ba 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 bank pe utimtambe isipi na no misifu ngastola kanga tuluti zonge gur gonge kamba kati gura tini na ushwe la lo kutiwa gonge kisa kamba kati even i prostate cancer na kuna futi nyaya nsegi suti nyas pega njenga rati nyasa ziti tasa sa no misipi sifu esngasa siwe simzimbeni yeah yeah guzo akul intangzo yesho ni kule tetele kisa aguti Anga nomi atlegi sa nomi atlegi. Oguti last time mang diagnose utam diabetic ten years ago. Ngomu yao bantu ba tuwa kakul because ngangi zui nkulu meza ishwa bantu na kutuzo pilaganja anuzo nganyulu mlenze this and that and more. But I found out as I started to google all these things oguti actually you can live in pilo a healthy ube unesi for STs. Let's come to your side. You know kinu kumale proseze ribi za uruki ambiosentesis bago taba ko mkoko in your if you are pregnant bago taba in the pregnancy to see yuva cheke kuru na ngwana unal the indication is that you have a disability. a disability. As when, as when, if you were pregnant and then you did that process, you have a possibility of a rare disease. What options do you have? What are you carry on with the child and you find out more information? Uh, my name is Amanda Njok. Mm. In this case, I personally, mm. I will keep the baby. Okay. Because at the end of the day, is it the only child? Mm. And then what I believe, Kihore, 
even if the child akasha alijalo i don't think anyone mm. i aka experience on tobu pilong eloring is going to be beyond mm. his or her control mm. you understand mm. and how many kids bere babona mbaho la beloring they have like certain diseases yeah. uh, disabilities but at the end of the day they grow and they achieve mm. in life mm. you understand mm. and when i list certain schools meloring they go to schools they study at the end of the day about something in the community or mm. in life so i don't think that i can abort that child you know what's interesting Kine, i'm going to send this one to your side i've got a cousin on aling autism and she explains to me that it takes 100,000 rand every single year you know sikuzila kakhulu especially abazali abanye bathi ngeke bakwazi ukuthi bamkhulise umntwana one ngesikhathi and kwa isikhathi umuntu azakhala nani ukuthi even in a family kuya kuye kukhambe khambe kube nenxa eyikhona ngingo kuthi mhlawumbi ubaba nomumama bavumelana on that side but let me come to umbali next to me mbali if you were to find that umntwana wakha engakazalwa ukuthi unesifestize mhlawumbi ucabanga ukuthi ngeke ukwazi ukusumela yini into ongayenza eh igama lami ngombali into engayenza eyoqala ukuthi ngi research engisakhulelwe ingane leyo ngingayilethi ingane la emhlabeni ukuthi izosokola ngoba at times mina ngavuma ukuthi umntwana ngoba une disability ngimthande as umama but esayidi la kababa bangavumelani nokuthi umntwana unaleyo disability le so ngaqale ngenze i research ngibona ukuthi ingane ingakhona ukusurvive kanjani mangibona ukuthi izinto engakungeke ngikhona ukumelana nazo lezempilweni ngam keep him done is it pinto to go amela na zempilweni uh, for instance maybe lapho umakumele afunde umntwana mm. or maybe imedical yakhe le kumele ukuthi amabilisa wasebenzise yeah. maybe azoba beyond imali engizocabanga ukuthi mina ngaba nayo yeah. if uhulumene angakhona ukuxhasa ngakhona ukuthi ngibe nayo leyo ngani leyo mangibona ukuthi futhi akwenzeki angeke ngize ngibe nayo let me come to Lorenzo next to me because uh, on a story such as teachers fun uh woba bona isimo wepa umama wa decide to kuthi abort umntwana because ebona ukuthi ngeke akwazi ukumelana na idingo zakho well um a friend of a friend of mine Your microphone, she please. was around 17 18 when she got pregnant yeah. and she had acne and started taking the acne treatment when they take pills yeah. that are given by the dermatologist. Yeah. And she had that a procedure where she checks the child. Yeah. And the doctor said that if she wants to keep this child and carry on with her acne treatment, yeah. the child is gonna come out deformed mm. somehow. Mm. And she, for months, she didn't know what to do. And then she ended up aborting the child and carrying on with whatever treatment she had to go through. Ngicabanga ukuthi into esobe sibexi saka tikhulu kazi ni collect ukuthi kumantu esobe sina badila kanjani nama situations where party na esingabona ukuthi kulula ukuthi udilela na I think also Kenny what we also need to focus on is the fact that maybe there isn't enough awareness in South Africa yep. for the rare diseases but to kuqala lihlonu mer uthoma rulo la conversation or rabla ka chukela diabetes yes it's a very serious disease but it's one that is common in South Africa and today specifically rena ka level la taba ya di rare disease ko lupus tsa rara di tshimi mabitsa bona I was not to pronounce some kama khona mdla kwa sifundise kaya hashtag daily tattoo give us a call it's 0113391315 for some say break it up with Welcome back to Daily Tech and I'm Sanjay Bega easy for as nga try legile and we do have abantu la we catch up with Khazela Gabanzi about this disease ukuthi kahle kahle isiphi isifo ongathi as try legile sibizwa ngani we do have on the couch njenga manje Kelly to please CEO and founder of Red Disease SA as well as his sponsor Amoila uh, the Lupus Drive NGO founder guys welcome to Daily Tech thank you thank you you know according to a Red Disease South Africa um Good to have 50% of people that are affected uh, by rare disease, abantu na mangan, which are children, and 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 how difficult for abazal that are, are raising these kids, especially them not knowing what to do with these diseases. So I can tell you from personal experience as a mother, mm. um, and my son is was diagnosed with a rare disease when he was 11 months old, mm. and really there's. I think being a mother is hard enough. I think being a parent <laughs> is hard enough. There's no roadmap. I, I, I could imagine. Mm. So then to, to find out that you've got a child, you really have to mourn mm. the child that you thought you were going to have. You almost mm. have to understand that you lose that child, the healthy child you thought you were going to have, mm. and you have to accept 
the child that's been given in that place. Mm. And I think it is a very, very challenging process. Mm. And I think you feel very isolated from society. Mm. Um, you know, you're placed in a situation that you no one has prepared you for. Mm. There's very little information, particularly for this group of conditions. Mm. And you face challenges that you never really considered a possibility in your journey as a mother. You yeah. know, when you think you're going to have kids one day, you have this idea of what it's mm. going to be like. Yeah. And it's going to be amazing. And these children are no less amazing, but mm. they, they're different. Yeah. Kelly, perhaps if you can just take a few steps back and, and, and you can give us a better understanding as the founder and CEO of Rare Disease South Africa, what is a rare disease? A rare disease is a condition that affects one live birth per 2,000 people. So in a population of 2,000, one person is affected. Okay. That is what then is considered rare. Can you perhaps give us some names of rare disease? Because, I mean, I think you could have heard also when we, we opened up the conversation, for us, most of us, we think just a disease that sounds, you know, like a cancer. We, all, we, we classify that as a rare disease, diabetes, because for us it might not be something that is common. Yeah. But under the definition, what, 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 what are some of the diseases that could be classified? So things like cystic fibrosis, pulmonary hypertension are some of the more common rare diseases, mm. haemophilia, um, albinism, those sorts of things come up as rare. Um, and then you've obviously got the very rare conditions where it affects one in three million or okay. one in six million people. And the, the rarest condition in the world is something called Fields disease, and that was only affected one family oh, ever. Wow. So, um, so some of them are a little bit more common than others, yeah. but I think that the challenges that are faced by families impacted by these conditions are the same, and mm. that's isolation, lack of awareness, lack of acknowledgement, lack of understanding in terms of society, mm. etc. Right. Ponzo, let me come to you. Um, the lupus uh, drive. Why the lupus drive? Uh, t take us through. Um, the lupus drive was basically um, inspired by um, two beautiful, beautiful souls that uh, basically suffer from rare diseases, yeah. uh, namely lupus um, and bipolar. Mm -hmm. if, if you were to take someone on and understand what is a lupus? Lupus is an autoimmune um, disease, basically um, the immune system becomes hyperactive mm -hmm. and normal healthy cells start attacking each other. Mm -hmm. So if you have your red cells and your white cells, instead of them literally working together yeah. for your immune system, they actually attack each other. So it makes it difficult for you to heal from diseases and it makes you prone to actually catch anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, no, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just shocked. As you're explaining it, I'm thinking to myself, then what happened to me uh, if such thing happens to me yeah. uh, in my body? If this, those cells decide to misbehave, yeah. uh, as you, uh, you're putting it? Uh, basically, you know, with lupus, it's, it's diverse. Mm. Now we have a common lupus known as SLE, which is systemic um, lupus erythematosus. Mm. And then we have the nervous system lupus that basically targets your spinal cord and your brain. Mm. Um, and then we have uh, discoid lupus. Um, it also basically focuses on that as well, but it mostly um, um, attacks the skin mm. as well. And then we also have medically induced lupus, which is a lupus that has now formed from the prescriptions that the lupus patients get oh, from wow. the doctors, oh, wow. do you understand? You. So um, it's, it's very difficult having to diagnose it, but it's, it's something that we're basically working towards to basically see how we can work around it. Let's talk about that diagnosis, perhaps, Kelly, because I'm just thinking of somebody like me who comes from the rural areas. It took so long for my condition to get diagnosed because the doctors there are very basic general practitioners, right? You now need to go to a specialized doctor, which we have a shortage of in South Africa. What are some of the, the, the challenges when it comes to rare diseases in terms of diagnosis, perhaps, treatment and all? that. I think you've hit the nail on the head. The average rare disease patient takes in excess of seven years to get a diagnosis. Oh. Seven years? Seven years. And they could, they don't, some of them don't live up to the fifth birthday. Absolutely. So you're already at a time disadvantage. Sure. Um, so one of the big challenges I think in South Africa with such a large group of individuals, we've got so many million people based over such a large geographical area. Mm. Um, you are generally referring back to community clinics, etc., and they have a lack of understanding. So the referral up to a tertiary, to a tertiary hospital takes a really long time. Mm. But then at those clinics, they're obviously under capacity in terms of staff and resources. Mm. So mm. to get the diagnosis initially is really the most difficult challenge. Mm. Um, 
Um, once you have a diagnosis, I'd like to say that we do relatively well in terms of accessing treatments, except for the high priced drugs and many mm. of the rare diseases are really, really expensive medications to treat. Mm. Um, some of them going over 6 million rand per patient per year. Sure. So you can just, it gives you a little bit of perspective. And My what, son what is 280,000 rand a month. So state does pay for some conditions, um, private medical aids pay for others. As a family, as a patient, I can tell you it is impossible to fund these treatments yourself. Yeah, sure. And, and, and I'm, I'm just thinking here from someone, or Osuga from Elokshini mm. or in Emakai as well, mm. and you think, Ogoti, how do you even, I mean, uh, think about I'm a, in Mali that also a coca? Do you think it's fair for people in rural areas? A disease is, is, is if, if not them, then who? Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So we, are, I think it's something that we shouldn't tackle to say is it fair to them because if not them, then who? Do you mm. understand? Yeah. But I'm actually shocked that they, it's, it's what they're doing is really good because with us, yeah. first of all, when we approached uh, social development, we actually told that it actually needs to be categorized as a disability first. Mm. Mm. The government doesn't even know that it's actually been categorized as a disability. As a disability. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But because it's, 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 it's is it a so global vast. categorization? Um, it's not a global, well, yes, we, we need for it to actually be categorized globally, do you yes. understand, in order for us to actually understand what's happening with it in the country, because mm. in order for us to get treatments and stuff like that, we don't, we only have, how many are we in South Africa? In a population of 50 something, million. something yeah. Yeah. we only have 50 rheumatologists in South Africa. Uh, yeah, it's the, it And it's one out of six people gets affected with lupus. Mm. Sure, that is very sobering. Let's, exactly. let's talk about um, um, the un, 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 uncommon or rare disease. Which one is the biggest right now in South Africa? Okay. I think probably haemophilia. I mm. think haemophilia affects, you know, uh, the, the one of the big challenges with haemophilia from a Gay cultural... haemophilia, Kate, what is it? <laughs> so haemophilia is a bleeding disorder, so they do not produce enough platelets, so you don't clot properly. Oh. So one of the big challenges in the rural areas are when the men go for circumcision. Mm. Oh, they land up bleeding to death yeah. because nobody knows how, that they have the condition. Mm. So they bruise easily, et cetera. From a, from a child, you might notice that they bruise and all of that. But then they go and they have the circumcision and they land up bleeding to death because nobody knows how to treat it. And in that moment, mm. you, can't, you can't do anything immediately. Yes. Except before, before I go to the mountain and everything, uh, like common signs that I, I, I can think maybe I need to start uh, consulting. So I think bruising, mm. you know, obvious bruising is one thing. Children who suffer from recurrent nosebleeds. Mm. I always say as a mom, if, you're, if something tells you something's not right, trust your gut. Mm. I think as parents, we spend every day with our kids. You see them all day long. Mm. You pick up that something's not quite right mm. and rather trust your gut than be sorry that you didn't later. Mm. You know, um, rare diseases affect a multitude of organ systems. So mm. you, you know, you have neurological conditions, skin conditions. So the impact is vast. But really to just to know your child, to know your body, to be empowered as individuals and understand that if you if you feel something's not right, then then rather go check it out. Boncho, right. quickly, what is lupus? Hi kids. <laughs> 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 but I, I, you're not sure. Mm. And I think this is it's, it's actually something that we need to realistically look into because sometimes it is not in our languages and it's very difficult for you to explain. But let's go for a quick ad break. When we come back, we'll look at a little bit of the awareness of rare diseases in South Africa. Please do stay with us. Welcome back to Daily Tet and we're getting a better understanding of if we as South Africans and on a global scale, if we're not shining the light on these diseases, they end up becoming the silent killer. On the 28th of February, it was World Rare Disease Day. The 10th of May, it was World Lupus Day. But most of us, it's not happening. But wait until World AIDS Day and everybody is jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah. Corporate is throwing money at it. So we need to start creating a little bit more awareness around the rare diseases because they are killing people. We are joined on the couch by Sipose Tungomani who's been living with autism and it's great to see you shining bright you <laughs> here with us. Welcome to Daily Teta. Thank you. Thank Tell, you. Take us a little bit through autism. What type of life are they living? What are some of the things that some people might not know about you that are unique to you? Okay. 
Um, so mm. I was diagnosed with autism at age six. Mm. And from the onset, um, my schooling career was completely different. Mm. The treatment I received from school, from home, was completely different from what other children would have. Mm. Um, I remember there was a time when in primary school I had to be taken out of a normal classroom mm. and put into a special classroom because mm. I couldn't learn at, the, at, the, at a rapid pace as yeah. the other children and mm. I couldn't grasp information and I couldn't regurgitate information. So they took me out and put me in a special class and when that happened, already socially, I've, yeah. I was imbalanced, you know. Yeah. My friends now started looking at me differently. They were like, oh, you, you special, mm. oh. you know. And it, it hurts as a child, you know, because mm. you don't understand what's happening and why you're being mm. treated a certain way. Mm. And at home, it was also another problem of, why are my phones? Can't you read? Like, mm. you know, they, they, like the patience was not there because the awareness was not, was not there. Mm. And as, as time went on, um, with the patience, obviously, from my mom, the support, yeah. I was able to actually understand my condition and actually be able to live with it. Because mm. when I was in a special class, my teachers were more patient with me. They understood, and when they spoke to my parents, they made them aware of the fact that I had autism and that mm. I wasn't misbehaving or I wasn't acting a certain way, but because mm. I, I really just couldn't, mm. you know. Mm. You know, we, we have Uma Makola on the side. Yes. I'm microphone. Mama, at the age of six, um, and that time we didn't have much of about Google, I believe, uh, to find out more about certain things. What about you when you found out you were born with autism? It was not an easy thing. Actually, yeah. the school called us. But she said, "Um, is not performing very well." Yeah. Actually, it's bigger pala reverse. Oh wow! But I'm pali straight, straight. Mm. and then she was too hyper. Mm. I, Jumpies like Begadala, Gundula Glal. So it's like I didn't understand because Mdana Upabli and 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 but Basaka Koni went down with the school. Yes, I mean, I didn't see any problem because I don't know what's going to go on. Then, um, Mabam Susa from Bastel, actually, the department, but because the school refers us to the Department of Education, the Department of Education, Bam Negata, Emma Psychiatrist, to come and then Bam Bam assess from there, Bas Negata, a letter to tell us, would see this is the situation, she can't read, she can't write, and on the other side, we are school manager actually listening is, but I got to go spala and I got to go 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 on go phones. So it was a hard thing. And as a parent, you looking good. Sometimes I go find like other school and like other kids. Yeah. And when other parents, but but not about of the age, but she goes no. No, I'm not great. Ban ban. We are still in one grade because mm -hmm. la pa ya na babata sababu ya be one grade until the age of thirteen years. Sure. Then when they are thirteen years, there's a special school that other blacks they don't aware of. And then Baba Sasa Baba is a global special school. Are mm. in, in, we were in Pretoria, there were two, if I'm not mistaken, in mm. Pretoria. Mm. And then La Echauten, when we come this side to we had to take her to Elans Park. They referred us to that one in mm. Elans Park. Mm. Then that's where she, she continued there. And then Nala Pamo figure is like, they do a lot in her, but seven and eight times are cool. And my child is like sh very, very lazy when it comes to hands. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was another stress, so was, you know, I had to finally end in logo because Baba trainer from hand, Baba did some nails, Baba did mm. well, and massage, all this kind of hand work mm. of saying, if Bapuma, they will be able to leave mm. because there's nothing else. After that, they will have to go to FET college and there's no university for them. Mm. It's like you strictly go there and then Mapuma La Payana Sigisago FET, FET college, they will train you from seven, I mean, seven to ten, mm. then that's where they belong. They don't right. have anything. So it was a very hard thing. I, I, I could only imagine a situation mm. open. And now John Gomzali. See, Pastor, you're listening yeah. to your mom explaining your, your, your journey. What did that do to self-esteem, Yako? But also after that, tell us a little bit about some of your achievements so far. Okay. Um, so obviously, my self-esteem at that point was very low. Mm. I... I looked at myself and I was like, but why can't I? You know, I meet up with my cousins from different places and when I'm about grade seven, grade eight, and I'm still in one grade, you know? And they tell me about how, oh, I'm going to my farewell, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm thinking to myself, I'll never be able to do that, you mm -hmm. know? And already my self-esteem was like ground low. It was really, it was bad. And I looked at myself and I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not, yeah. I'm not wealthy enough. I don't That's have. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I never thought of, of that mm. at the time. I was like, no, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. Mm. I'm not worthy. Mm. You know. And so I boxed myself. I categorized myself, and I was like, you know what? You're gonna sit down and mind your own. But um, it, the, it got to a point where, in that special school that Mom was speaking about, mm. I was in grade nine, and. I was doing so well in math at the time. I was, I was excelling. 
And my math teacher one day comes to us and she's like, you guys are doing grade nine and you know, it's the same grade nine as the mainstream grade nine. Oh. And I was like to her, but ma'am, if you're saying that I'm doing the mainstream grade nine and I'm doing so well, why am then why am I here, yeah. mm. you know? And she's like, oh no, it's a long process. It's quite impossible for you to actually try and think of going over to a mainstream school, mm. A, B, C, and D. And I was like, okay, um, she said it's impossible. I'm gonna show you that it's not. Mm. So that ca the time came when um, I had to leave grade nine and go to an FET college. But mm. that same year, they were introducing grade 10 for the following year mm. for that special school. So I had a, a, an educational psychologist come in and like assess me and let me know what I can and cannot do and what my options were. Mm. And I was like to her, listen, I'm not trying to stay here and do grade, nine, grade 10. What I'm trying to do is go over to a mainstream school and you know further my studies. Mm. And she's like, oh no, it's completely um, hard. There's no support. You're not gonna get babied as you are here. So it's, you can't do it. Mm. And I was like, no, but I want to do it. Mm. And so I spoke to my mom, got back. I was like, listen, these are my marks. I'm doing this well and I wanna go over to a mainstream school. And she was like, okay. At first she was shocked. She's like, Whoa. <laughs> Did you what? end up in the mainstream school? Yeah, eventually, um, nice. through, through persistence, hard work, I did, I got in, but there was a lot of rejection. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't easy. Yeah. Um, a lot of schools were like, no, 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 because it's in the same district and yeah. they all know, mm -hmm. you know? Fast track to a few years later, I got my matric, I did very well. Nice. I passed, I got distinction, and I went Chief, straight into first Chief. year. <laughs> What are so, you doing now? So um, I'm, I'm now currently, I'm double majoring in hey. psychology and international relations. Look at you, girl. Yeah, yeah, like, like, come on now. You know? <laughs> Let me come to so, you, yeah. uh, Kelly, on, on the side. If you talk about autism, I, I believe there's different kind of autism. Uh, please briefly explain to us. So autism's a spectrum. Mm. It's not considered, it's not a one shoe fits all. Mm. It's a, a spectrum and I would like to say that every autistic patient is different mm. and they are all still very much individuals. Mm. I would just like to say that I like absolutely so encouraged by your story Thank you. mm. because having a child who I know, we've had him in a special needs school and we're trying to mainstream him mm. again. Mm. I know that I, I understand the challenges that you mentioned, but mm. I mean, your ability to, to say, I want to do it differently, yeah. I think is what has made your success story mm -hmm. and so proud. Thank you so yes. much. Yes, definitely. She's okay. We're gonna go for a quick... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go for a quick ad break. When we come back, conversation area, Kubek, blah, 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 the red disease. What are some of the things that they need to overcome, looking at cost, rejection, all these barriers that come up when you do have a rare disease? Please stay with us after the break. Welcome back to Daily Tata Sakuma Parties if I got your legile and an octina bantu ba pilagan janning as long ago to you maintain actin in Uguazo Pilang or Bagwang at Gia Biza no con the couch we are joined by Valentine Mabaso or Pila with atopic dermatitis. Welcome to Daily Tata Bantan. Thank you. As well as uh, Makola, Marsha Honolo, uh, on a ventilago again. Welcome to Daily Tata Sis. Thank you. Cool. Ask Kulumina about these diseases, guys, because I'm a Kamakon and I have two, sir, and I'm a new one. I was no good. Libizu Aganjan. Let me come to you, uh, 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 Valentine. Uh, tell us ab about living with uh, e, um, atopic uh, dermatitis. Um, atopic dermatitis, I keep looking for a little hurry. Um, what affects skin is how. Um, I got it when I was about 13, 14, mm -hmm. and I was actually diagnosed when I was 16. Mm -hmm. um, when it started, I thought it was chicken pox because when we grew up, we were told every child has to go through that stage. Yes, mm -hmm. So I didn't pay much attention to it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to disappear in no time, but then mm -hmm. it just kept occurring and occurring. Mm -hmm. And um, what happens is it triggered um, it's more of an allergy uh, trigger disease. Yeah. So if maybe you inhale or something, mm -hmm. and then I can wire the sheer disgust that you see on me. So um, it has been very challenging living with that. Uh, I was made fun of mm -hmm. by my peers, by people in the community as well. And um, it's, it's, it's hard generally just living with it because now for how long? And then when I found out it was actually chronic, I 
wanted to just die, you mm. know, because I was still young and I didn't have more information about it. I actually had to be the one. research. I went to the clinic, and they told me I should come back when it's serious. I mean, how do you say that to someone? I had to be anything about that. Mm. So it's, it, it has been a very big challenge for me. Sure. What do you have to treatment? Roughly, what um, I know King Kari and then mm. I just have to keep uh, watch to what I, I eat mm. and the environment as well. Because if you something, you can use a detergent, 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 and so expensive, we hang at a key who consult a dermatologist. Yeah, it's really, really expensive. And go to go to public facilities, you don't get those. Na cardiologist who who consult a key four thousand. Dermatologist to give guy. And how often you got all appointment because that's another problem. When I went with my mom, actually, I, I, I sold ice cream to high school because that's when we, I, I got diagnosed. I had to sell ice cream. I think it was about, uh, it was back when I was 16, some years ago. It was about 2.5. And sure. my mom is a single parent. So we're, like that's her whole remuneration. Mm. So we had to make other means. And then when it failed, because he had to do a lot of tests. Yes. Didn't also know they had to cut my skin at some point, oh. a lot of injections, a lot of needles. So, and the high effects are all I'm not answering. I'm not going to cry, man. Oh, God, it's been too busy. I'm not going to. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Maybe you'll get help. Because as a parent, you are. I'm not going to go to Asa. Anything revealing, but it's a the jokes. I'm not going to go for the nickname. And I wanted to be a model as well. So it was like tormenting. Yeah. No, Makola. If you have a story of Valentina Njenga Manje, you can even find out if you want to go to the king or to the king. Have you ever found yourself in a situation like this? Yes, I have a story of Valentina Njenga Manje. 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 I have a story of Fourteen, okay. mm. yeah, and then they did grade eleven at that time. I remember they did the drama, so every the drama, they look so long. I guess when they change, they show bolder up, or um, they read the movie, they read the drama. So sometimes they say, "Oh no, I'm not going to go back," because they would say, "Oh man, you know, the batwarki, um, mulwa ba di mu, mulwa ba di mu, yeah, magaing stuff like that." So, I go shipa shipa, they just so so. Never see easy and people about to run. I came with the oh, I want to tell you about you. So you understand, we should all leave me out. Yeah, ever so, Baba Mary, utterly skinny, sir. A pig, you understand? Yeah, it's like I get a hotel over your body hair, a white, you understand? Some would say, um, home, I get home, it's in the black and white, so they would say that. So, no, see, is especially all one year, all a high school, you want to look cool, but you know, when you go up, you're revealing crop tops, but then you just call it because you have vital leak, and then but to abat see because you're not abat to work. But the, let's talk a little bit about into both of you are going through, as you say, in Korea, you know, it's it's a visible disease, eh, Alona? Yeah. How do you deal with that relationship-wise? Just having the self-esteem and confidence. I mean, you're in a crop top today, and you look absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Thank you're in a short dress. You guys look absolutely amazing. Lidila biangli ona basema ni barikar basema ni bana bana rosa. Wait. Bana rosa. Well, for myself, it started when I, I I decided to take an initiative and start an organization okay. that raises um, awareness around di different skin conditions. That's where I met Umatlo Khonol about two years ago. Mm. It's called Rock Scars. Okay. So I I I um. I shared my story and then I invited others to also come and share their story. Mm. So we get along and then we talk and also educate people because this journey is even more difficult. Mm. So when we teach you guys who are not directly infected by this, mm. we it becomes more easy for us. Now mm. you know just because she lives with atopic dermatitis, it doesn't mean if I'm too close with her, it's gonna affect me as well. Mm. It does not mm. work mm. like that. So we, tr we, 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 we try to um, raise awareness. We also invite people by any form of scars as well. Because mm. I personally believe there's no one who can wake up and then they decide, I wanna have a body full of scars. Mm. I didn't choose this, you know, it chose me, mm. but I'm not gonna allow it to limit me, mm. you see. Mm. So I, I, I'm now a model, she's also a model and like we like, Rocking our scars. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Let me come to you, Siposa as well, because you mentioned something about dating. Um, I, I, I don't her mom is here. <laughs> Look at this, she pops her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> because Wait. you know why? I'm asking this because I'm, I'm diabetic myself. So uh -huh. uh, each and every time when you tell someone that you're diabetic, yeah. do you find yourself having to explain yourself now or before, or, or you don't mind? Look, I mean, I don't speak about it to mm. people I meet. Mm -hmm. But if you do come to some of the talks that I do, yeah, yeah. you'll realize, oh, snap, you went through that. Like yeah. a lot of people that I, I, I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis don't yeah. know, oh, I had e autism, yeah. you know, oh, I still live with it, you mm -hmm. know. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I mean, it will come out in conversation and I'll be like, Pela yeah. mina, you know. <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> tell them. I'm just yeah. like, listen, dude, if I forgot, I forgot. If yeah. I remembered, then great. But yeah. don't, don't put, lim like, don't limit me because it might go south or north or, you know, yeah. it might go anyways. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Because okay. I, I always make jokes about myself sometimes yeah. and not that I'm um, Gizenze spoke poor, but I just make you aware yeah. of certain yeah. things about myself True. that you need to understand what, mm. at some point I need to go and put some injection. True. At some point I need to, you know, do mm, take mm, pills mm, or mm, anything mm, like that. Mm. Do you think that helps a lot? No, it definitely does because if the people around you understand your condition and what you're going through, yeah. then it's easy for them to actually accommodate you or deal with you in a, in a way that they understand. Yeah. I mean, with me, I sometimes close off, yeah. you know, and it's not because I, I, I don't like you anymore or anything, but like sometimes I struggle to communicate certain things, which mm -hmm. is why I'm like, you know what? Hey, some relationships are hectic. Friendships are <laughs> hectic. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm not trying to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 the people around me, like my best friend yeah. and my, my close sister, who's a friend of mine, mm. they understand that Setu has a shutdown period. Mm. And when she's got that shutdown period, we give her her space. But she'll always return. And when she returns, she's 10 times, mm. you know, vibrant, 10 mm. times in your face. Like mm. Uma said, I'm still... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's illegal. I mean, it's a, it sounds like this word. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? We're going to talk more about that. Must be breaking in and Jenga Mountain. The audience as well sees good teen about in Kulumo as in our week out. Some say breaking several of this. Welcome back to Daily Tet and Set Love Like I did Rare Disease and we've got a, quite a lot of information and just getting to understand. But I think in trailing important there today is we're busting some of the myths about these diseases. We are joined on the couch by Chofato Mawela, who is living with lupus, just recently diagnosed. Yep. So when are you are still going through demotions and I all know. those things? Welcome to Daily Teta. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your experience. The day Baru Botsakorwatarking on Ali Lupus and tell no. us about the stroke. Oh the thing is that it was last year. Mm. I used to have the headache mm. and back pains. Because mm -mm. I'd say, but why? Mm. Like, I would sit in hospital for hours, for hours. Mm. And the doctor, Barai, when I was pregnant, you're not sick. And I'd be like, no, I'm not pregnant. Mm. Then they would give me pain medication. It would work after an hour or two. Mm. Then the next day, back to square one. Your winner. When went to MRI last mm. year. That's when they saw what it's playing in my brain because mm. there was lesations or something. Mm. Mm. I don't know the word. There was scarring in my brain. Oh. Then last year, December, Kashapaki stroke. Wena. How old are you? I'm, I'm 25. 25 years uh, old, and you've gone through a stroke already. My doctors were actually shocked mm. when I survived when I got paid. Because I had a stroke, so I was not going to be able to do it. How did you get out of the way after you find oh, out that you were lupus? Like, I lost a lot of friends. Mm. Like, Sorry, Nana. Excuse me. I lost friends. Mm. Lady Chomten, I can I know. They're so supportive. Mm. Yeah. It's like I wake up in pain, in this body pain. Because mm. I'd be worried. Like, what am I supposed to do? Mm. And I just take tablets after an hour or two, kiss up. Mm. Then I can go back to my functional self, you mm. know? Mm. 
But finally, fell. I can't just do everything I used to do. Mm -hmm. Like Lecho Miaka, he is from Val. Mm. He was sick. Leena himself, mm. he was sick. But the way he used to call me, just to ask, are you okay? Mm. Are you feeling yourself? Mm. Don't forget. And this, this lupus, you will conquer. Mm. You're not a warrior, you're mm. a hero. Mm. Because you're telling people. Because I used to talk about tobacco clinicking mm. just to try and motivate them. Mm. I would share jokes and everything. And he's like, that's a hero. Mm. He's like, no matter what you do, then one hour I'll share. We can born a hero. Chiro, unalungana. So yeah, she's two years tell old. Tell us, right now, getting into it, you keep on going. You know, to her every day. It's, oh, it's my baby. Mm. Like she's two years old. Mm. Today, my biggest shock. I was like, "Apara chase." Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Hey, where na? We just like a man." Where did you learn that mm. word? Come, mm. I was like, "Akia." And she was like, no, mommy. No, mommy. And she just walked away. And wow. I was like, <laughs> oh, God has given you such a beautiful gift. Let's take it to yeah. Matati uh, Abutikini. No, Matati, you have uh, as well the lupus, uh, as well as the other disease I can't even pronounce. Uh, <laughs> tell us more about that. So um, I have lupus and fibromyalgia. Mm. Um, I have SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus. Mm. So it affects. What does that mean? Okay, as Bonzo had said, it affects your organs. Oh. Yes. Okay. So my immune system is fighting mm. against itself, yeah. and at the current moment, it has um, affected my gallbladder. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going for an operation tomorrow to get that removed. Mm. How much is that? To do it. <sighs> it's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Treatment is a lot. If and you, if you say, if you say a, a lot, roughly, uh, how much are we looking at? Mm. I mean, consultation with the surgeon was about 6,000 rand. Yeah. yeah, that only. Mm. That's a lot of money. And sometimes medical aid doesn't cover mm. everything. You find that by mid June. Mm funds have run out mm. so now you need to supplement oh. treatment and then fibromyalgia affects um my muscles oh. mm. and joints mm. so it works hand in hand with oh. the lupus and the support structure how important is it Gwen? um i also lost friends oh. um because um yo Why? okay i started the few signs that I got, like it started happening 2008, 2009, yeah. and it was just heavy bleeding. Mm. And then 2015, yeah. I just had a morning of bleeding, mm. and my platelet count was 25. So your platelet count has to be between 150 mm. and 450. Mm. And you were 25? 25. Mm. 25. Mm. So, question was, how are you still alive and you're breathing? And you laughing and all of that. Mm. And then they diagnosed me with ITP. So my immune system was destroying my platelets. Mm. There was no clotting, mm. that's the bleeding. I'm, I'm trying to understand right now, access to a medication. If you look at my, my, my clinics, even if sometimes you don't get medication, what about this uncommon disease, Kelly? How difficult is for people with uh, uncommon disease to get a e medication? One of the biggest challenges South Africa has at the moment is that we do not have an orphan disease policy. Yeah. So as a result of that, um, you know, if you're diagnosed with cancer, there's a plan. There's a cancer treatment plan. There's mm. an HIV treatment plan. Yeah. There's no rare diseases treatment plan. Mm. So every patient has to, f to navigate that system themselves, mm. and they, it's not equal. Mm. Some will get access to great care. Some will get access to zero care. Mm. And that is what we essentially, as a community, need to change. I, I hope Aban Tabanding, especially the health departments, they are watching the show, and by understand the eight colors of Bantu, because Gunzi Manicolette, it is tough, Kini, thinking when, she, when I'm listening to Matla to speak about fibromyalgia, it's something mm. that I have. Mm. And the thing is, people will say to you, but you don't look sick. Mm. 
and you're like, am I supposed to have it written on my forehead? <laughs> you know? Maybe let's speak to the sponsor record now. What type of support? You know, how important is support? I mean, Trofa uh, speaks about this friend who's constantly calling, I'm a checker. How important is that support? Trofa um, and Mashlati are actually a part of the Lupus Drive, oh, which is um, mm. the our organization, and she has a foundation as well. Mm. And um, there is 118 of us there. Mm. And um, we support each other. We actually had a, a suicide alert three days ago. Sure. Um, where one of the members literally stated to one of the board members that I'm suicidal because I have a disease that nobody knows of. Mm -hmm. It's a chronic disease. And I went to the doctor in Bumalanga mm -hmm. and they told me that I'm not going to have a child. Mm -hmm. So what am I living for? Mm -hmm. And we all had to intervene um, in order to actually communicate with her and call her and actually calm her down. Do you understand? We, we offer support as the Lupus Drive mm. because I believe that we share experiences together. Do you understand? We go through the journey. Most people isolate themselves. Mm. Families isolate children because mm. families because without understanding this is a chronic disease do you understand and in most situations when people get isolated yeah. it's always great to literally find an organization of people that are actually experiencing the same thing thank you so much the sponsor sponsor welcome to corner was to figure i'm trying to share and talk about is him to as big as what i'm trying yes thank you very much for tuning in